Good day everyone, I'm Francine Anvila Raza, a STEM student from Tala Senior High School. Today's discussion is all about designing and developing an ICT project for social advocacy. But before we get started, here's some trivia for the day. YouTube is the second largest social media platform or online channel next to Facebook that enables web users to create, co-create, discuss, modify, and exchange user-generated content. Facebook is really relevant here in our country, and we can say that almost all Filipinos use it for communication purposes. In order to watch different kinds of videos on YouTube, we must first create an account. As a helpful student, I will walk you through the steps of creating your own YouTube account. Click the link provided or scan the QR code. This QR code will lead you to a site that will help you in creating an account. Click create a new Gmail address instead. Then fill out the required forms, then click next. The information you put in here is important, so make sure to take note of the details, such as your password. Next, read the policy and terms, then click I agree. And after doing so, congratulations! You have successfully created your account. The next topic would be designing social advocacy. What is design? According to modern sculpture artists, a design is a plan or specification for the construction of an object or system or for the implementation of an activity or process or the result of that plan or specification in the form of a prototype, product, or process. Design is a familiar word to us, and almost every single thing in our surrounding is connected to it. This term can also be used in making a social advocacy, and of course, with the help of technology. Before doing a social advocacy, we must first familiarize ourselves with the four important purposes in producing a social advocacy. First is to inform. Transform into an informative purpose in producing your advocacy. We can make videos like documentaries, news, and vlogs that inform the people of what the real situation in society is. Next is to inspire. Infuse your advocacy and learning with the sense of meaning and purpose to motivate and uplift your audience. For inspiring people, we can create advocacy videos, inspirational videos and films, endorsements, and testimonials. This purpose is important since it influences the audience into doing something. Next is to educate. Empower your audience with the proper knowledge. This is already relevant to us since this purpose was served during the pandemic. Deped TV is one of the example of a channel that educates its viewers. Last but not the least, to entertain. Ignite wonder and entertainment through learning. This purpose is definitely the most famous one since it caught the attention of the viewers with its light and enjoyable content. Next topic is about developing social advocacy. What is fair use? Fair use means you can use copyrighted materials without a license but only for certain purposes. There are three guidelines for fair use, and these are number one, majority of the content you created must be your own. Number two, give credits to the copyright holder. And number three, don't make money out of the copyrighted work. Next slide is all about copyright. Copyright or other's right is a legal term used to describe the rights that creators have over their literary and artistic works. These are the works covered by copyright and its validity ranges. Literary works, musical works, dramatic works, pictorial, graphic, and sculptural works, motion pictures and other audiovisual works, sound recording, and architectural works. All of these works are valid for 50 years except for the architectural works. And that will be the last slide. So this means article.
and that will be the last slide. So this means our discussion ends here. I hope that you've learned something from our lesson. Thank you and happy learning!